What's up, y'all? It's your boy Reggie Beast, the IT producer. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm back with another gem on how to make a beat selling website using WordPress and a special plugin which I'm about to mention now. And you know how I do it, I'm gonna take you step by step. So at the end, you're gonna end up having a beat selling website looking like this, huh? That looks super nice, eh? So definitely better watch this all the way to the end without wasting any more time. Let's go! Okay, cool. So the plugin you're gonna be using is called BeatStore. What a nice name, man. How come I never thought of that? That's dope. So you can see it says WordPress products to sell your beats. You know what I'm saying? So let's just read a bit about it. It says unlimited upload. This is what we need because as a producer, we don't want to be limited. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna be able to upload a million beats on this. Trust me. And you can sell drum kits sample kits and you keep the bag 100% it's accessible it's embeddable which means that you can embed it anywhere you can embed it on a blog on an html page it's crazy so i'm saying i wonder how come i didn't discover this earlier it's amazing and then you can share your beats you know just like beat stars or air bit it works as the same but now you have full control over everything you can add anything you want you can add any marketing platform that you want and i'm still gonna add that as we build on this platform okay cool so now let's go to products select wordpress plugin okay cool so now it's just explaining a bit instant downloads meaning that once i say purchase i get my b right now and no no upload limits you can create playlists you know what i'm saying you can have a playlist of any type of beats you want use short codes to embed spoke about this you know what i'm saying you can track stats that's crazy you can track how many beats how many times the beats have been played that is too crazy and, and as you scroll down here's a young demo so at the end we're gonna have something like this this is crazy you can search by tag by genre by bpm you can add to cart you can it's crazy so at the end of this video we're gonna have something like this on our own website okay cool so now let's go to products select wordpress plugin and then now select single site license and click add to cart okay select the monthly one if, and then here you just gotta add in your email your first name and everything so here you either choose whether you're gonna pay with your card details or paypal i choose paypal but it's not gonna charge you now you know it will charge you after seven days and you can still cancel before it charges you so that's the crazy thing about it they want you to want it but trust me you're not gonna cancel this because this is crazy so click continue to paypal and then you're gonna you know do your whole paypal process okay so click start trial and subscribe and from there you're gonna get an email just like this you know so on this email you're gonna download the plugin so here by number two click download plugin save it and here it says upload and activate but i'll show you how to do that and here it says after activation use the following key so this is the key that you're gonna use for the plugin you know what i'm saying so once that is done let's go back to wordpress because you're gonna be using WordPress. And if you don't know how to use WordPress or you don't have WordPress, I'll put a link down below, but it's simple. It's like, you know, a three minutes thing to set it up. But if you already have WordPress, that's great. Even if you already have a website, that's great because you can integrate this bit store on your existing WordPress website. So gonna go to plugins and select add new. And then says upload plugin, select, select, select upload plugin, choose file. And now we're gonna choose that file we downloaded, which is this one. Install this. Click install. So it might take a bit of, you know, some seconds. So give it like a, a young minute for it to finish. Okay, cool. Now select activate plugin. Now we're in the business. License key. Wanna go to your email? You know, select this and paste it in here. Select the, the code that they gave you, paste it in here by license key, and then click agree and activate. Cool, now we verified we win the game. As you can see now on the side, we have this thing that says beat store. You know what I'm saying? That's some crazy stuff. So let's go back to the dashboard and see if there's, oh, there it is there. So let me just, yeah. Go to the dashboard and you can see it says this plugin needs easy digital downloads just say begin install plugin 
and if you don't see this message you can just go to plugin add new search for is easy digital downloads click begin install okay and click install okay then it says it has been successfully installed click on return to plugin installer and click on activate so now i want to activate the plugin click on activate okay cool so now the plugin is activated let's go back to our dashboard and see if there's any messages that we have to check and if you don't see all these other messages here that that you see on mine don't worry because wordpress becomes a bit different depending on which hosting service you are using okay so once this is done now we need to choose a theme for our website you know what i'm saying so we're gonna go to themes which is appearance themes and we're gonna use a free theme and this free theme is so nice i like it so dope so go to add new and search for crystal not crystal math but crystal shop <laughs> crystal shop okay search that and you should see there we go install this it's free it's amazing install it click on activate and you can see here it says this bitstore plugin recommends the following plugins so contact seven elemental one click import woocommerce let's say begin let's install this plugin click begin install begin installing plugins i right, cool so just select all of them you know what i'm saying and click install so you can all install it, get installed at once okay return to required plugin installer then select all of them and select activate you can activate them one by one but it's gonna take time you just gonna select all of them activate apply okay cool now those are activated and applied now we must do one important thing because if you don't do this it's not gonna work so you're gonna go to settings and go to permalinks and you're gonna select post name make sure you select post name because if you don't it's not gonna work so just click on save yeah so now our plugin is being set up so now it's time for us to design this you know what i'm saying so for us to be able to see let's go add a beat i know you don't know how the beat store looks like yet but you won't be able to see unless you add a beat right so let's go add a beat and when you add a beat you add it by downloads with this downloads click on add new Okay, let's see. Now put a beat called Slick Talk. Alright, that's the beat name. It's called Slick Talk. And just scroll down. Well, you might not be able to see this because it's this plugin that I installed. So you don't worry if you don't see that. Just scroll down until you see where it says Download Prices. So now that's where you're gonna put the prices for your beat. So say Enable uh, Variance Pricing. You know, so now we can have mp3 lease type mp3 and then it's maybe it's nine dollars gonna add a new one new price then select wave lease and this will make it let's say let's just say forty dollars you know and you're gonna add another one which is unlimited lease let's make it hundred dollars you know that's all dope now we have our pricing set up so now we need to add three files because it's mp3 wave and and what is it unlimited lease so here you can just say file name you can just say slick slick because that's the name of the beat slick talk mp3 and then you're gonna upload the file here which is the mp3 file i'm gonna go to select media files i'm gonna go to my beats Okay, uh, I'll just add any other beat because I can't find my slick talk beat. So let me just add uh, jetpack. Okay, cool. Then once it's uploaded, click on insert into download. Okay, now we have, and then it says price assignment. You're gonna select MP3. You know what I'm saying? Same thing, add a new one for the wave. So I'm gonna say jet, jetpack wave. 
Just but you can name it anything just so that I can know what I'm doing. Upload, I'm not gonna look for the wave. I'll just add the MP3 and the wave, and then you know the track out is the same process. Just click upload. I'll just use the same one, you know, into the and then the price assignment is the wave, you know. So, yeah, that's how you add the files, you know, your MP3, your track outs. But first thing first, you must add this pricing here. Yeah. Okay, now if there's some notes, you can add them there, you know what I'm saying. And then here it says, Okay, now let's go down to beat options, you know, and here it says, what, How do you want to put your preview file? The preview file is the one that they're gonna hear, you know, when they click play, they're gonna hear that beat, which is the tagged one. So just go to file and then put in the tagged uh, version of the beat so that people can be able to listen to it. And if they want the real one, they can buy. Put the BPM, speed is probably like 170, you know, and yeah, that's it. You know, I think that's it. The genre you can add, maybe you can say hip hop. And as you scroll down here, so it says on the button, do you want it to say buy now or add to cut? I'll leave it as add to cut and then just click publish. So now we just added our first beat. So now it's time for us to see our beat in action. It's time for the exciting part, right? So now we need to embed our beat store. So we're gonna go back to beat store. Go to embed. We're gonna embed our beat store on our home page, right? Because that's where we want it to be. So it says to to embed, you just need to copy this code, which is beat store three. Just copy this, you know. Okay, so now let's go to pages. We're going to create the page where we're gonna add this uh beat store you know and you're gonna make it a home page because this this plugin didn't come with a home page so we're gonna create one for ourselves we just create call it home you know and then yeah that's it just call it home and then publish okay and then now click edit with elemental okay so now you're gonna click on add just select this one because we want it to be one uh, column and here search for HTML drop this here just drag it and drop it and now you're gonna paste that code which is that so you're gonna say uh, preview let's preview it first click on preview let's see if it's showing anything there we go look at how nice it looks Slick talk and we can play. You see what I'm saying? It's crazy. That's it. So now you're gonna go to add to cart. You see what I'm saying? Here's the MP3, here's the wave, and there's the unlimited list. So now, since this is just a preview, now we want to add this to the home page, right? So let's go back, let's close this preview. Go back to this element to click on update and then just click on those three dots exit dashboard after updating click on the w for the wordpress so you know what i'm saying so just go to appearance customize okay cool so now this is how we're gonna customize just how the website looks right so you can see now here is just a lot of blog nonsense you want to remove this now scroll down to home page settings and it says your home page displays your latest post we don't want that we want it to display a static page and the one that we just created so you go to select static page and select the home page you just created which is this that's it now here's a beat store right here look at how nice it looks i mean this this is crazy this is crazy it looks so nice you can share it you know what i'm saying so since we did that click on publish then just go back so we can change this background there because it looks ugly so now we're gonna go to general settings because we want to change this background so we're gonna select background image select image and then you're gonna just select a picture that will be nice as a background so i look for something that has to do with studio there it is there that's a studio there click on open then choose image now you'll see it's gonna change the whole aha uh -huh, there we go now it looks like a beat store Ooh, this is nice this is beautiful so let's change this stupid text here so where it says enter your text here just write your name i'll write reggie and then here by the text which is the subheading just write 
buy two get one free because you know a bit store is not complete with that <laughs> without that and then here for the button which is this one you can just say listen to beats and the button url just select beats there just write uh, hashtag and beats you'll see why i am doing that nice update and publish okay so now let's see how our website is looking like let's close this and then now we go to that go to visit site mm, oh this looks nice man look at that this looks crazy this looks super dope i like this you can add text if you want to okay cool now what we have to do is we need to hook up this button so that when we click listen to beats it scrolls all the way down here so let's do that right now just click edit with elemental scroll down to beat store where it says beat store click on it select where it says advanced here by cssid just type beats now remember i said you must write beats previously so this this link to each other so when you click beats it's gonna link to the ccs id then say update then let's preview this then let's click that there we go that's so smooth yeah so that's it for today thanks for watching you know if you learned from this video please hit the sub button and like this video because i'm still gonna build onto this website we're still gonna build on top of this website we're still gonna add payment gateways we're still gonna add licenses you know so if you are made to drop more of those videos please like this video and share it and also comment below so i can drop the other videos as soon as possible scary this is your boy reggie beats i'm out well actually i've been out because my camera died <laughs>